In this video, we're looking at how to install a connector, a Cloud Connexa connector on Windows Server and how to configure it to run as a service. I am logged into the admin user interface of our Cloud Connexa. So if you look at the networks, I already have a couple of networks connected to my account. Uh, the CCNet uh, network is the one that I'm going to add a connector to. So if I click on Connectors tab, we can see we, I already have a connector online, but I'm going to add another connector here. So click on Add Connector. We'll give it a name here. Um, and then for the region, this connector will be in uh, Chicago's region. Click on Add Connector. And as you can see, it is added here. Now it's time to deploy it. Click on the drop down where it says deploy and deploy connector is the option. When it comes to uh, deploying the connector, if you uh, click on this drop down, you're going to see options to deploy your connector on the public cloud providers, different operating systems, and uh, compatible routers, and so on. Since we're talking about Windows Server in this video, we're just going to choose Windows Server. In a second, we're going to have an option to download the Connect App package. And here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Download here. And it is uh, downloaded. Uh, it's a zip file. So if I double click on it, we can see the zip file. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and extract these. Let's close this one. And here we go. So we need to install the Connect app. I'm double clicking on uh, this file. And then click Next. and accept the license agreement and then follow the instructions. And here we go. The installation is done. And our Connect app is started. The very first time we need to agree to the license agreement. And uh, we can see that the profile is already imported here too. So let's minimize this and continue with the rest of the steps. The second step is uh, run the Connect app as a service. If I click on this link, it's going to open up another tab on my browser. And this is where we can see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure our Connect app to run as a service. You may ask, why do I need to, uh, to do that? Uh, why do I need to run my app as a service? Well, we want to automate everything. If for any reason this server gets rebooted, we want to make sure our connector starts automatically. So that's why we run it as a service. And uh, there are steps here that we can follow. Let's go ahead and open our command prompt. Um, we want to make sure the command prompt opens up as a um, as administrator. So here we go. This is my command prompt. And uh, let's do a side-by-side -side window so we can follow the instructions. Step one and two. Uh, step one is asking to open the command prompt. We just did that. Step uh Three and four is basically asking us to change our directory to our OpenVPN Connect App uh, directory. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we are on the OpenVPN Connect directory. Step five here is asking us to uh, run this command to install the service. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the command. And service installed successfully. Now, when it comes to step six and seven, uh, these two steps are optionals. This is basically where you specify the path to the profile and the log file by typing these commands uh, along with the uh, location or the path to the log file and to the profile. Keep in mind that if you skip this step, uh, the service will try to connect to the profile that is located in this uh, directory, the OpenVPN Connect directory. So if the client was downloaded from Cloud Connexa, which is our case here, and has a bundled profile, then the profile is copied uh, to this location. So if I run the directory here and look at the uh, directory here, we can see the profile here. Now, the log file is going to be in the same location here also, but it will only appear uh, when uh, after a connection has been established. So we're not going to see the log file yet, but we'll see it in a minute when we connect our uh, connector. So again, these two steps are optional. If you want to uh, move the log file and the profile to a different location, then we need to 
specify these two locations here. So let's move to step eight. Step eight uh, is a start command. So we need to start our service basically. So we're gonna go ahead and run this command here. And uh, start. Here we go. As you can see now, uh, our connect app is connected and everything looks good. So let's go back to our uh, admin user interface. The third step is enabling uh, routing and NAT on Windows Server. If you click on that again, it's going to open up another tab and it goes, uh, it gives you a step by step instructions how to configure uh, or enable routing and NAT on your server. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to skip this part um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click next at the bottom of the page. As you can see, my connector status is um, connected, it's green, so I'll click finish. And I got my second connector installed on a Windows server here. So now the next thing is that if I look at the services app here, I should see the connect app as services added and it should be running automatically. So here we go. As you can see, the st startup type is automatic and it is running. So for any reason, if I reboot the server or log off and log back in, I should see this uh, service that starts automatically. Now, before we test that, uh, I want to mention one more thing. If for any reason you need to remove this service and uninstall the app, in the same instruction page, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you're going to see step-by-step uh, -step instructions how to stop and remove the system service. You just follow the instructions, run these commands, and it's going to remove the service, and then you can go ahead and uninstall the app. So it's time to test our uh, service and make sure that after we reboot, the service is going to start automatically. So I'm just going to close everything and I'm going to go ahead and restart my server and come back after my server is restarted. Okay, here we go. We're back. Uh, our server is rebooted. So let's go ahead and check our service, make sure it's uh, running, uh, started automatically. So I'm going to bring up the services app. Let's look at the OpenVPN and then OpenVPN Connect app is here. It's running automatically. So if I log into my admin uh, UI, let's go ahead and do that and go to my networks and look at my connectors. We can see the connector is online. So it is started automatically. Now, the next thing I want to show you here, let's go ahead and uh, look at the logs. So if I go to the uh, OpenVPN Connect uh, directory, I should see the log file. Has been, yeah, here we go. The log file has been created. So if I double click on that, we can see the logs. So if I scroll down to the bottom of the uh, log file, we can see the timestamp and we can see it shows connected. So this was a quick video on how to install a connector on Windows Server and how to run it as a service. Thank you very much.